another 24 hours that we will be exploring another country or city this time we are in jordan so we are going to spend 24 hours in jordan we just landed i'm going to run a car actually the car is right there you see it right there so we're going to take a drive from Amman all the way down to Petra. Then we're going to go see the Dead Sea. We, I have a lot planned for you. So let's do this 24 hours. All right, so first things first, we are in the car. I'm about to head over to the hotel. It's right in the Dead Sea. It's about an hour away from the airport, so it's not a bad drive at all. It's beautiful. I mean, the Dead Sea is right here. I wish I could show it to you guys right now. Actually, I think I will. It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. So, uh, about to head over to the hotel. Again, about five minutes away. It's not too far from the, from the Dead Actually, it's going to Dead Sea. So, I don't like to be funky or have bad breath when I'm going out. So, I'm gonna go there to the hotel, freshen up, and then, we can go grab something to eat and see some sights. All right, so we're about to have dinner. I just stepped in the Dead Sea for the first time, which is pretty cool. Um, it was about to flow, so I couldn't really get into the water, so we'll do that tomorrow. And the restaurant that I really wanted to go to, unfortunately, they were having a party there, so I'm just at the hotel here at the Hilton at the Dead Sea. And one of the first dish I got is the kebab or the kebab. Sorry, this is the kebab right here. It's a staple in the Lebanese uh, culture and food. Uh, Jordan, they have a really good Lebanese uh, food and Mediterranean food as well. So I'm gonna try that, see how it is, and let's enjoy. Kebab. Mm, that's really good. Kebab is minced beef with some onions, some pine nuts and season and it's fried. It's it's really good actually. Got a kebab too. Some lamb looks good. Let me try that right now. Meat from the grill tastes so heavenly good. If you're in the area, come to the Hilton Dead Sea. The restaurant 1312, the service is immaculate and the food is, I mean, it's just as good. It's really, really good. Let me finish up this food. So just finished having an amazing dinner. It was really, really good. A lot of meat though. It was a little bit too much meat for me. So, um, whoa. And that is not a joke. But, um, so yeah, so the food was amazing. Um, I'm gonna get some rest right now because we are going to go to Petra tomorrow. And we are actually going to drive the way down there. It's about three, four hours of driving, so definitely going to get my rest but I wanted to rent a car to do that because I don't want to be on someone else's time especially if you only have 24 or 48 hours within Jordan so get some sleep and I'll see you on the road all right so we are about to head out and make this drive over to Petra um, it should take about three to four hours to get there on the road so I have my bottle of water it's a desert you know I'm dressing light I'm about to get some money from the ATM, and um, yeah, it should be should be quite the adventure. Okay, so we are about 15 minutes away from Petra. The drive was, I mean, pretty good. No complaints whatsoever. It does get really dark in the middle of the night here, early morning, uh, and most of the roads do not have any lights. So you just gotta be careful. There's a lot of hairpin turns, so you definitely don't wanna be speeding, especially when you going through the desert, going uphill. So we're gonna park in the visitor center and then make our way uh, to the treasury. So, can't wait to share that with you. So, we made it inside of Pizza. We are on our way to the treasury to see some sites, see some tombs, some homes out here. As you can see, 
I got a new scarf, hat, covering. Uh, they got me. The, uh, <laughs> the store man, he got me. I had a, a different one on. So, um, but not a little uh, cool. It's like it. So, I'm going to enjoy this uh, this hood horseback ride into the treasury and I'll let you know when we get there. That was amazing. I mean, the sights, the tour, the walking. It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking if you're doing a hike. You could go the easy way, just go through the canyon, go to the treasury, and then head back out. Now you can definitely climb the stones, go through the back alleys, see some locals. It was really cool. I would definitely suggest to go early in the morning so you can beat the crowd. And then also you can beat the heat because this sun is beaming right now. And make sure you get some good shoes. Uh, don't come out here in the brunch boots or anything. Um, make sure you have like hiking shoes or something like that. I had on some regular Nike trainers, so they did the job. But if you're not good with being on balance or you know, you're not good at walking, a little older or a little clumsy, definitely you're going to need something like a hiking trail boot. So. Let's go on to the next stop because we are really, really, really hungry. So, man, that was a journey. So I'm about to grab a snack real quick and then head back over to the hotel, freshen up a little bit because after doing like two hours of hiking, there's a whole lot of sand on me and I'm pretty sure I sweated out this shirt. So we're going to take a quick snack, maybe ice cream, some water, you know, maybe some chips or something get on the road, you know, another three hours, going to the hotel, and then we're gonna go see some more sites. All right, you still have a day out here. You still have your hours for your 24. Tour. So for lunch, we actually going to go to the place that I wanted to go to yesterday. Al Burj Haman is at the Crown Royal. The food is supposed to be really, really good here. Maybe one of the top restaurants in this area. So we're going to see how that is, and hopefully, it's really good and worth the wait. A 
This is a whole lot of food for one person. There's <laughs> a whole lot of food, like, it's a lot. I'm not gonna finish all of it. They just brought some more food out. I mean, the food that you get for your money here it is worth it, but I feel so bad that I won't be able to finish all of it. It's just me here, but it's so good. That was a good behind lunch. I mean, the amount of food was too much for me, so I had to take some of that back, but the food was amazing. The flavors was amazing. Some of the meats I did not like the flavor of, but overall, the entire thing was really good. The service was really well. Plus, if you're not a guest here and you pay for the lunch, they give you a wristband for you to explore the beach and the pool area. So make sure you bring your bathing suits as well if you want to enjoy that. But I'm just gonna take in the sights real quick and then head back to the hotel and sleep because that was a lot of food and I need to rest this body off and try to recover some. So let me get in like a quick 30 minute, 45 minute nap and then we'll be out here. You know, I was going to take you guys to another Roman theater, but we are at the Dead Sea. So if you only have 24 hours, why wouldn't you want to be swimming in the Dead Sea? So that is what we're going to do to close out today. I hope you guys had an amazing day. If there was something that I should have done or added or subtracted or the food was not hitting, let me know. Hit them in the comments. I always love talking in the comments. But if you like this video, like it. And if you like this content, why won't you subscribe to the channel? So we made it to the Dead Sea, it's beautiful. I mean, if you don't know how to swim, it's fine because you're just gonna float. The salt water makes it feel like you are in a spa. You just put it on you and make your skin smooth. Stay in it 10 minutes, go to the man up top. He'll put some Dead Sea mud on you and then you'll be exfoliated. But if you're coming out tomorrow for 48 hours, can't wait to see you. If not, if you're only for 24 hours, check out the link descriptions up top or in the description below for the 48 hours one. But if you only have a day out here, I hope you enjoy your day. If you have two days out here, I hope you enjoy your two days or your weekend. So, till next time, peace.